Okay, in this video, I'm going to tackle the problem of a pulsating brake, particularly on this left hand passenger side. I crashed this car a couple of years ago and I've had to change the bearing in here, the bottom arm twice, the ball joint twice, the steering arm. Um, and also the brakes and the brake disc. The reason I had to change the brakes and brake disc was pulsating really badly, causing lots of shaking, and it shook. Every time I put a new lower ball joint in, it shook it apart, and it kind of came off the lower arm. Now, I've changed the uh, brakes and brake disc, and, and it's kind of coming back slowly. So this is my issue. Now I'm thinking I did slightly hit the kerb uh, only about a mile or two, one mile an hour, but it was a, a concrete kerb and uh, I did feel the impact. I'm not sure if that's the one thing that caused my pulsating brake, but I think not because in previous cars I have hit the kerb before. It's never happened before. But I do know that my pins here, I, I can't remember this, top pin, bottom pin here that holds the uh, let the brakes float on the, on the uh, disc. One of them I remember pulling the rubber, little kind of rubber stop off uh, and I'm not sure if that's causing it so what I'm going to do is I bought some new pins, some new uh, rubber, rubber gator, some new bolts and that's the that's the one that could be missing from me. I can't remember. I should pull it off and find out. Whilst I'm doing this, I am also going to check the tyre for any uneven wear, which can mean tracking issue. No, it's not. And it's whenever you have a tyre off, just check that it's kind of even, and it is. You've seen my tracking videos. If not, have a look at my store videos. And I do my own tracking. And after many months of driving on this, this particular tracking now set up, it looks pretty good. Look for stones and nails that may have embedded. Uh, poke them out. Because you may, may not be causing you issues now, but later on, that nail might puncture as the tire wears. So I'm feeling here on the inside. I remember last time the inside of this um, brake rotor was kind of rough really badly worn. This time it's pretty smooth so that's a good sign for me. It's getting a bit rough just here on the outside. Slightly, it's slightly rough. So I don't know why they make these out of, but believe me these will bend if you hit a curb hard enough and you'll get all sorts of issues. But today I'm going to try and solve it a different way. That is by changing these pins. Up. These guys may not come off if you want them to. Make sure you've got the, car, the car on axle stands, not just on the jack. And that will also, as I'm doing this, swap the tyres around as well. I'm going to swap the driver's side rear for this front passenger side and vice versa on the opposite side to make the tyres last longer. Careful you don't bend this too much. I should hang it off. Maybe a cable tie. Just be careful of it. It doesn't fall down and just snap something. So a good spot now it looks stable. Right. Don't need brake pads on. Get these fillers out. Screw this one back in. I usually do is press the back. Okay, we are going to that one's coming off. No problem. This one comes in a nice packet of a sealant. I bought this off eBay. This is the company that makes them, but the eBay company, who you knows? This is silicon based. So that's the top pin. I wasn't expecting to see the rubber gator. Make sure it matches. Looks good. Let's take the bottom one out. Let's just 
but the bottom one's going to give me trouble so I screw this on the stick top calipers off screw it back in I think this should give me trouble no it's not okay yeah so this is at some point it was causing me a lot of problems and I pulled it off and there it is it's not there could that be causing my issues with brake pulsing don't know I'm going to find out by putting new pins in maybe the pins are bent in the impact don't know and new new rubber kind of this bottom half there rubber little gator or rubber o-ring whatever you call it and uh, I should test it out and uh, for a couple of weeks and put to, put the results back on the uh, YouTube there so I won't know straight away it made any difference it might still pulse or it might stop pulsing straight away but I will put the results on as, as soon as possible so change gate it change rubber rubber gate is put pins in oil it up and they've got Loctite on these which is fine make sure this goes on the bottom all right so let's see what happens